as the year draws to an end i will be sharing some lovely books that stood out for me each month of 2020 so today i will be sharing my favorite books of each month of 2020 let's get started <music> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Rachel here. As always, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. You can also like this video so that it is there to other viewers as well. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the books that stood out for me in each month of 2020, my favorite picks of each month of 2020. So this one is going to be tough because I actually read quite an amazing amount of books this year. I think I'm currently on my 50th book and my goal for this year was to read 50 books. So yay! <laughs> I'm excited about that and I'm even looking forward to reading other books. I might get to 52 or 53 before the year runs out but I am not trying to push it. So I'm going to share in another video with you guys the books that I read. I'm going to run them down and show how I was able to read those 50 books in one year some months were good some months were not good look there was a there were months that I read only one book there were months that I read only half a book and there were months that I read seven books in that month so I mean with everything that has gone on in the world it's just been a crazy roller coaster of a year and I'm just happy that you know I've been able to still continue to escape to reading be it fiction non-fiction or whatever the case has been so so I'm quickly going to run down my favorite picks. I'm going to be telling you what books I read in that month and then obviously the pick. So I'm not going to go into all of the books. I'll just quickly run them down so that this video is short. In another video, I'm going to be sharing in depth, you know, these books that I read and whether or not I enjoyed them. Some of these books that I'm going to be talking about already have book reviews on them. So if you think that it's like a fave for you and you like to check out the book review, you can go and check my channel for that. It's under the playlist of book reviews, which link I have left in the description box below. So let's get started. I have this book where I typically write down like the list of books that I want to read or that I read. Or that I've read in each month just so that I can keep track of my TBRs that's my to be read or my progress in terms of my goals and how that is going so in January I only read one book Woo, not surprised there I guess I was still recovering from <laughs> dirty December or whatever they call it in 2020 in 2019 so I only read the curious case of Benjamin Button which I'm sure will be my favorite for January since I only read one book I had only watched the movie I think before and I typically don't do that I typically would read the book first before I watch the movie but this one I watched the movie because I never really thought I was going to read the book and I think this book was chosen for as one of the books that we were supposed to read in the book club that's actually why I read it so yeah that would be my fave for January the curious case of Benjamin Buttons in February, I read Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi on Ajayi Crowder Street by Nathan John, Everything is Figureoutable by Marie Forleo, The Joys of Motherhood by Buchi Emecheta, and Black Sparkle Romance. My favorite in February is Tied Between Children of Blood and Bone and on Ajayi Crowder Street. On, obviously on Ajayi Crowder Street because of my bias for Nathan John. But if I was to... If I was to give it to, I mean, what book I really enjoyed, I would definitely say Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Adeyemi for February. In March, I read Everything Good Will Come, Children of Virtue and Vengeance, and The Mastery of Love. Oh my goodness. And that was my birth month. This, ah, it's so hard. I can't even, The Mastery of Love, I think it's by John Miguel Ruiz. That book is an amazing book. Like, oh my goodness. Like, it was so, so life-changing for me. Like, it just talked about unconditional, oh my goodness, I don't want to go into it. But you guys, Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. Yeah, um, so I had read Children of Blood and Bone the month before and I was mad blown away. So I wasn't really blown away because, okay, it's like the second installment. You're now used to the writing style. And then there was this annoying cliffhanger. So it will definitely be between Everything Good Will Come by Sefi Atta and The Mastery of Love. Ah, oh, if I had to pick. This is like so, so tough. I didn't know it was going to be this tough when I started this video. But if I had to pick... <sighs> Everything Good Will Come by Sefi Atta would win for March. <laughs> okay, now to April. I read Of Women and Frogs by Bisi Ajapo 
Black Ass by Igoni Barrett and The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. If I had to pick who won, hands down, it would be Of Women and Frogs by BC Ajapo. You guys can check out my review on that book. This woman made me cry. Like, that book was an amazing, amazing one. Like, I really enjoyed myself reading it. Like, yeah. For May, I read Who Moved My Cheese. I read um, Our Iceberg, uh, Our Iceberg, oh. Our Iceberg is Melting. You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I'm Telling the Truth But I'm Lying by Basi EP. I read Stay With Me, My Lovely Wife. Wow, wow, wow. The Farm. Oh my goodness. May was actually such a month. Wow. Well, it's definitely not going to be Who Moved by Cheese and Our Iceberg is Melting. Even if I did reviews on that. Like, these are amazing non-fiction books that you guys can read they are short too and they talk about change so especially when the lockdown was happening people were losing their jobs there was a lot of change happening in the world this was an amazing book that we selected in the book club for us to read i did a review on that and shared some of my own personal insights but you see stay with me oh my god the plot twist in that book where hey where will i even start from oh god my lovely wife my lovely wife had me up at 2 a.m like my lovely wife oh my goodness like the book started slow but towards the middle and the end like the plot twist were mad i was up at 2 a.m pacing around my house wondering like how why and then I'm telling the truth, but I'm lying by Basi Ipi. Oh my goodness. And this year I was also privileged to interview her as well. So that video is up. You guys can watch it. That was like such a beautiful, beautiful book. And she talked about on her journey with bipolar 2 and anxiety and just her mental health in general. It was such an amazing book for anyone who, you know, would like to know more about like someone's mental health journey. Like she was so raw. She was so real. She was so genuine. Like she put her herself on paper literally and it was so amazing that i had the opportunity to interview her you know when i think back about it this year wasn't actually all that bad like there were actually a few really highs okay man this is going to be a tough one for me okay let's see my favorite fiction huh, stay with me my favorite non-fiction oh my goodness even you are a badass ah, me was really really a man you guys have to permit me like you guys really have to permit me you're a badass what by jen sincero was i also did a review on that it was so amazing um yeah non-fiction is tied between you are a badass and i'm telling the truth and fiction is side thing stay with me and my lovely wife okay so gone to my head fiction stay with me non-fiction oh, oh my goodness and no i can't pick <laughs> It's you are about us, and I'm telling you the truth. But I'm lying by Basipi. You guys have to permit me, please. This was just too hard. You see, some months I had like how many books that I read? Maybe like seven. And some months I was like, in June I read Tomorrow Died Yesterday by Chimeka Garrix. I read Love's Persuasion, Love Me Unconditionally, A Bit of Difference, Atomic Habits, and I read Ninja Love Stories and The Mechanics of Yenegoa. So what was my favorite from the month of June? I would say definitely Atomic Habits for nonfiction. Like what? Atomic Habits was woo. Atomic Habits is definitely like one of my top three books for this year. Like my goodness, I'm going to do another video of my top five books, top five nonfiction top five fiction books so you guys can look up for that i'm really excited about that one well atomic habits was my favorite non-fiction my favorite fiction was ah this is tough this is tough ah this is tough it's between tomorrow died yesterday and the mechanics of yenegoa the mechanics of yenegoa made me laugh tomorrow died yesterday was a masterpiece oh my goodness this is so tough uh, if i had to go with one i will go with tomorrow died yesterday i'll go with tomorrow died yesterday that book is just a gem so in july i read a broken people's playlist unfolding grace homegoing and black sunday my favorite would hands down be homegoing in august i read the girl with the louding voice i read memoirs of a lazy corfa and an, an anonymous girl I love Memoirs of a Lazy Coffer because it was so short and sweet and nice. 
um but my favorite would definitely be the girl with the loudest voice black sunday was not um yeah i didn't really feel that book moving on to september i read once upon our childhood by lara brown i do not come to you by chance by adobe trisha Bani, easy motion tourist by leia adenle and maya angelus i know why the caged birds sing um okay so my favorite for september would be <laughs> I loved once upon a childhood i really did like this book was just yeah i would say once upon a childhood it was a lovely 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 read like man it explored so many heavy themes but i liked it i did october i read vaults of secrets that was the only book that i could read by Olukorede Yishao and that book was really really lovely. I think it's a collection of short stories and I actually really enjoyed it because it helped me come out of a reading slump. The, the stories were really real and each of them had like a central theme of secrets that as human beings we tend to keep from one another like paternity fraud, there was adultery, there were different things in it and I liked it because it helped me come out of a reading slump. So yes, that would definitely be my favorite for October. Moving to November, I read the Fisherman by Chigoze Obioma. I read Nigeria Soldiers of Fortune, Ogadema, and The Spider King's Daughter. <sighs> okay, so my <laughs> definitely my favorite for non-fiction would be Nigeria Soldiers of Fortune because that book is amazing. It um it explores Nigeria's uh what do you call it? Like Nigeria's historical um years from Abacha to Obasanjo, it's it's Maxiolun is top notch. Like he does amazing with Nigerian history. So if you guys are looking to read more about Nigerian history for research or for knowledge purpose, then any book by Maxiolun is sure to do it for you. For fiction, uh men, the fisherman, Ogadima was amazing. But you see the writing style of that the fisherman, men. So my fave for fiction was definitely The Fisherman by Chibose Okiyama. So in December, I've read, so far I've read Yobachi, Okada Love, Keke Love, Excapades of a Bored Housewife, First Fruits, which is a poetry collection. I'm currently on, on an orchestra of minorities and brimstone and rainbows and maybe i'll let you guys know with time which one was my favorite so let me know in the comments if there are any of these books that i've mentioned or any ones that were my faves that you've read let me know in the comments how it was for you if there's anyone that you would also like to read let me know as well this was actually a lot tougher than i thought it would be i thought i would just like read out the books that i read in the months of whatever and then i'll just be like oh my fave was but it's actually really tougher than i thought especially for some months that i read so many interesting fiction and non-fiction books but subsequently i'm going to do towards the end of this year i'm definitely going to put up my top five non-fiction books and my top five fiction books of the year 2020 so you guys can look out for those videos so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye